Epic Jake. And for those of you watching this on the Epic Jake channel, a few yeah. months ago, I did a short where me and, ironically, it's the joke show, we're at the movie theater watching Multiverse of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. And uh, someone commented, how was the movie? And I said that it was good, maybe, or hopefully, I'll get to do a review on it. So that's why we're here. Fast forward a few months later, I'm here doing a review on it. And yeah, so before we start the video, for my channel and Joe's channel, make like, sure. subscribe, and hit the post notification bell to be notified every time that me and Jake post new videos. Thank you for summing that up for me. And um, yeah, so we're gonna get into this. And what? Uh, let's start with like, Characters. What did you like? I like the characters in this. So, the characters in this, I like Doctor Strange. Um, I think they did a good job showing like what he's been up to after No Way Home. Because I like that they're kind of filling a plot hole after No Way Home. Um, mm -hmm. Wanda, I like and dislike what they did with her. Um, yeah. I kind of wish they kept her kind of like an Avenger and not a villain. Yeah, same. I kind of yeah. wish they like, took like, since it was about the multiverse, they kind of made like a multiverse villain or something. I feel like that would have been better. Now, the other thing, America Chavez, I mean, it's like... They're, they're a good new character, but a oh, good... very underrated thing in this movie is the Illuminati. I honestly like every character in the Illuminati. Uh, yeah, that's what I was actually about to get to. Um, the Illuminati, I think they're all... Great. I would like a mini Personally, I would like a mini-series before Multiverse Here's my thing with them. I think they're all really good characters. I just wish they used them differently. Because we only got to see them for like two seconds. And then they all got wiped out. What mouth? What mouth? Mm -hmm. Black Bolt. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, spoiler there. Uh, I'll probably put in the title that they're spoilers. Yeah, I'll put it in I, I, yeah, I'll put, I'll put in the title spoilers just uh, so you guys know. Um, I like the plot of this movie. Like, I, like, I love all the multiverse movies. Yeah, I like how um, this takes place a little after No Way Home, not like directly after. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so. One thing I was disappointed about this movie is I kind of had some high hopes for Ghost Rider and possibly Toby the Black Spider Man in this movie. Uh, I just kind of wish they were in it. Like, I had some high hopes for Ghost Rider, especially. Yeah. But now, I still love the Avengers. In the one movie. thing to keep, one thing to keep note of, this movie is a very, <coughs> um, it's a, how would I say? Uh, a mid-movie? No, not mid-movie. I mean, like, it's... I, I have mixed, we have mixed feelings for it. It's a scarier movie, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, you don't, like, the normal Avengers movie has some cool fight scenes, but, like, there's a lot of, like, um, oh, there's darker stuff in this movie that some younger viewers might not like. Like so, when Black Bolt's back is on. Yeah, like, um, when Black Bolt gets killed, that's a little, um, graphic. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the movie is a little graphic. In this movie, what, what about the plot twist at the end of it? Okay, so, the, so here, I'll go over that first. So the plot twist at the end of the movie, I don't think Wanda died. As you saw in the clip, um, Wanda did- David it, nuts on the clip though. If, if you basically, did, Wanda realizes, like, in this movie, basically her trying to go to a multiverse. Where she, a universe, where she can Bieber. be with Tommy and Billy, her kids. If you want to learn more about that, go watch WandaVision. But uh, she's trying to find a universe, and she actually tries and hurts the Wanda in a different universe, and she realizes that she's been wrong all along, and she actually takes a building. Wait, what was the building? When it, wasn't really, the building? It, was, it wasn't really like a building, it was more like a monument, and she basically destroys it. And the mm -hmm. thing about this is, um, in the movie, you see her, um, like, when you do that, there's a big red pulse that comes out almost. So I feel like that could be like a shield protecting her. So Joe might think differently, but I think- I, I agree. I, like, what, like, that's think, you just killed off, like Iron Man, Captain America. Yeah, I don't think Wanda They're not gonna get rid of her too. They're not just gonna kill her off in one shot. They're gonna, I think they'll bring her back for maybe one or two more movies. I think that she'll pull a loose Skywalker and kind of stay in hiding until the Avengers meet her again. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, that's actually a good theory though. I, I, connecting it with Star Wars as well. Uh, just so you know, this video we did not script it all. We just um, we we just said let's do a multiverse madness review, and then we just like the we what's just rolled the it. The thing about this is the end credit. Oh yeah, 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 the end credit. It had Doctor Strange at the end. Movie has him with like a third eye, like kind of like a dark hold. Yeah, I think I think that means like he's control. He's in control of something. I forget what it's called. Yeah. But that's not the confusing thing. Like that I can understand. The confusing oh, thing. Yeah, the confusing thing is when that person, I forget this person, I, forget, I don't know what anything. In the comics, 
Doctor Strange is this is one of their love interests, so I'll uh, pull cool. okay. okay. so, the but in the um I just don't know. She comes out of like a space portal or something that I think she it was cut. a dark dimension. Yeah, it was like a dimension or something. She said she needed help, but I'm not gonna go to help. It was like the same dimension that he saw with Dormammu or whatever. Yeah, the but first one. overall, I rate it like a mid movie. Like if you're just starting to get into Marvel, I wouldn't want this to be. I wouldn't think like you have to watch like five other movies. Yeah, but like. If I had never watched Marvel before, and this was like my first uh, time watching Marvel, I wouldn't watch this right off the bat. I'd wait. The first Iron Man. I'd at least watch like Endgame and like WandaVision before doing this. Yeah. Like I wouldn't just like. Plus, um, depending on how old you are and what you like in movies, this movie is a little graphic. But overall, it is a pretty very action-packed movie. Like, I, like I, I recently saw Thor: Love and Thunder and reviewed that. This is better than Thor: Love and Thunder. Yeah, I think. There's a lot of action in this. The movie's a little graphic, but it overall is a pretty decent movie. I'd probably wa rather watch like No Way Home or um, no way home, I'd probably movie. rather watch like No Way Home or Shane Chi over this, but it's still a decent movie. I agree on No Way Home, but I'd rather watch Shang Chi. I mean this and Shang Chi. If I'm doing like I feel like this movie is like not as good as Civil War, but better than like yeah. Too. So, so like in between. if you've gotten anything out of this video, I'd say this is more instead of a review, this is more our opinions on Doctor Strange. A recap on it. A, a recap and um opinions. Yeah. So yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, Wait, I'm still final fault. Final fault. If I was gonna give this movie a scale, one to ten overall, I would give this a seven and a half on the verge of eight out of ten. Maybe if you got a little more of the Illuminati, I'd give it an eight, but it'd be seven out of ten. What are your thoughts on that, I'll stick right by you with a 7. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, it's going to be the end of our video today. If you did not, just smash the like button for me and FBJ. Hit that like button and hit the post notification bell. And comment down below for any other video suggestions. I'll see you next time on It's the Joe Show and FBJ. Peace.